We are broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Cineraplis, Forsk, Minnesota. And the Mutant Eaters have a proud history in the MFL of winning just about everything but the really big game that matters. Maybe that's why they have the same exact number of bars and churches. Hey, shut up and pass the data, Tots, huh? This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The New Gorland Zombies battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was going to stand on now. You know what happened? The panty wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. And it's first and ten. He just picked the receiver's pocket, and the defense gets a turnover. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope, Grim. First steps and vampires and mermaids. Then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. <laughs> The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Third down, and the punter is warming up. The quarterback passes the ball, and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. <laughs>
And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball, and oh, he just got crushed. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. And he rumbles for nine on that play. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. First down. And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no. Oh, he took a leap and hit the ball knocked down. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Oh, now the offense is getting... Oh, you see that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. And they are schooling the defense right now. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 eight. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Hot, hot one, eight. He is fighting for every yard, and he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe... Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And that'll be second and eight to go. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the vet to have him reattach. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> gotta love it. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Hot. Put on a display there. Touchdown! <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover with the brain scrambler. <laughs> First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. That pass play was good for three yards. Second down and seven. Hey. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Bricks. Great color work as usual. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. They're going to be able to return this one. Sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. They go to a warp speed dirty brick. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 12 of 10. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score! <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim! It's good! The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First and ten. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Hey. 
goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Oh, look at this guy break. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Force meets the explodable object. He's at the party. Somebody get that guy a beer, because he just saved me a thousand bucks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. But when I do, and he just wrestles away from that. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for this QB. Oh, with a punishing hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger page. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, Good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. <laughs> Second down and ten. <laughs> He's 
is not going down. And that was a bone crusher right there. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. I don't know if can have it. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this act, man. First and two. <laughs> Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Oh, no. It's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Second down and a lot. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot And he lets fly with the bomb. And like Rex's bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. Uh, I love the stamina happens to a lot of guys, Grim. Uh, at least that's what I hear. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Hot three. Wow. And he breaks away. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. chance second down and ten a mix of tiger blood shark blood and internet comments roid rage brings out the worst in anyone oh man bricks you gotta love a player who goes down fighting boom and like the titanic his ship just went down hey, hey i almost got that mutant bingo oh he needs 77 to fight it. The 20. He's he's running out of gas now. And that's quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey, Grim, what do you call a wolf who was intuitive? I don't know what. And a werewolf. <laughs> oh man, I just cracked myself up. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. 
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. <laughs> the kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Eh, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. They, they spend two years in the lane and then they become bouncers and biker bars. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Oh, that'll send your nostril hairs once and for all. The offense is down to their final lineman, so he'll be playing center for the rest of the game. How's he going to be able to block all those defenders by himself, Grim? Well, he can't, which is why the QB is going to have to get rid of the ball very, very fast if he wants to stay alive. And it's for smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. <laughs> What a hit that was. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. Second down and long. And that pass is good for about five yards. And that'll be their final timeout. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, and he loses the ball along with his life. What did... The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? Second down and more than the QB would like. At this rate, the QB, his cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a sawbuck right on this asshole. The 10. He intercepted the QB's pass and returns it for a touchdown. That's not just salt in the moon. That's peeing in the ashes and the smoldering room. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. 
Products like ground up, use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. Not a game is this close as the score indicates. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. And it's first and ten. Consider running the ball more. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a son of a... like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Welcome to the Groin Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm taking a double Groin Burger, Larky. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. <laughs> he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. And the purple mutant eaters are annihilated at home today. Looks like someone put the mutant eaters on a diet. Get it? Diet? Diet? Because they're dead and forfeiting. <laughs> Forget it. It's probably a 
good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare about tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.